This is Ballet Arts Ensemble's 35th anniversary. We're going to be bringing back a couple of short ballets, mini ballets, based on the sculptures of our very famous local artist, Kirk Newman. The People, which is his sculpture outside of the KIA. Uh, Nancy Ballerina. And then also a piece based on his drawings and paintings of women who are in a hurry. Um, Kirk Newman was way ahead of his time. Uh, the other mini ballet that I'm doing is entitled The Dinner Party. I've done this one several times over the years and it's to music by Mozart, Anna Klein and Nacht Music, which is very familiar to most people. It's very funny ballet. And what makes this special is that we are going to be performing the dinner party with members of the Kalamazoo Symphony Orchestra. I'm so excited that the KSO is part of this anniversary concert because we have done so many things with them over the years and it's just appropriate. We have some guest choreographers. And I am a former member of Ballet Arts Ensemble. I grew up here. Kathy Hewling just happens to be my mother. The ballet that I am presenting for Ballet Arts Ensemble is Rodeo. The first section of music I'm using is the Saturday Night Waltz. And uh, in that section, you basically see 19 dancers on stage, some representing cowboys, some representing cowgirls. And I see this as a celebration when the men come back from months on the trail and they have this waltz together. The second section you'll see is the hoedown. Hoedown is probably one of the most recognizable pieces in Rodeo in the original score, so many of you will recognize it. This piece is just simply a, a social dance and a more uplifting, fast, and loud. And today we are incorporating some more of our costume pieces, including skirts, hats, and cowboy boots. It was important for me to come and take a look at it just so that if there's anything with the props or with the skirt, uh, the costume pieces that needed to change the choreography, we could go ahead and do that today. We find it sometimes harder. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen when we put those cowboy boots on, how hard or difficult it is for the dancers to jump and to move as easily as they would um, if they were wearing ballet shoes. This is our second year of existence. Um, it's a new company this year of 10 girls. We have two pieces that we're gonna be presenting. One is all the company members, and it basically um, just deals with shapes and space, utilizing the music, and um, having opposition in terms of movement with, um, with the girls. And the, third, the second piece is a trio about friendship. I'm always looking for new dancers, so if contemporary dance is something you're interested in, please make sure that you get in touch with us at the end of the season. I hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you. Reflecting back on some of the things that we have done over the last 35 years, and one of the things that I'm proud of is the story ballets. I have pulled excerpts from every single story ballet I've ever done and created one work in which these dancers will flow on and off the stage. A bit from Nutcracker, a bit from Cinderella, from Hansel and Gretel, from The Red Shoes, from Aladdin. I mean, there's so many things that we have done over the years that not all of our audiences, you know, they haven't had an opportunity to see them all, to experience some of our rich history in terms of the story ballets. So put March 18th on your calendars and please come to Chenery Auditorium and see this wonderful anniversary concert. We have two performances that day, one at 2 and one at 7. Uh, it's going to be a filled concert. It's going to be packed with a lot of interesting things for 
all ages. So I hope you will join us on March 18th for Ballet Arts Ensemble's 35th anniversary concert.